black girl nerds. Better shake your booties for black girl nerds. Wow, this is a very, a movie, it's very deep and suspenseful, but it plays on some very specific fears. The fear of kind of an unseen entity mm -hmm. and the fear of knowing something and no one believing you. Mm -hmm. From Just from a human standpoint, what do you think of those two fears? Which would be the, more, the most difficult to overcome? I mean, I, I think the fear of the unknown, of someone feeling like something is threatening but not being able to articulate it, I think mm -hmm. is something that is um, extremely stressful for anybody, you know. And um, that's what I think makes The Invisible Man so scary is if you think about iconic monsters throughout the ages, throughout mm -hmm. the film, there's always some visual iconography, you know, fangs or claws or whatever it is. But with The Invisible Man, he is notable by his very absence. Mm -hmm. You don't see anything or you're not supposed to. And so I thought there was a unique opportunity to play on that fear you talked about of not being believed and feeling like something's there but not quite knowing. Like, how mm -hmm. can you prove that? Mm -hmm. You know? There are some specific elements that are taken from the original story, but this one takes a decidedly more sinister approach. What made you go in that direction to, to further the, the legend of The Invisible Man? I just wanted to make this character scary again. Mm -hmm. You know, I feel like this is an iconic character. It's a great character that H.G. Wells in invented so many years ago. But I wanted to kind of drag it into our era. And modern audiences, they've seen a lot of movies and they've seen a lot of horror movies and thrillers. They're desensitized to a lot of the techniques and tricks that filmmakers use for modern suspense. Mm -hmm. So I wanted to, you know, I wanted to tell them that they, this wasn't going to be your average suspense film, that I was going to try something a bit different, you know. That was the aim of the film. Uh, the, you hit the mark, definitely, because it was unlike anything I had ever seen. With uh, Elizabeth's performance and with Aldous's performance, he did some wonderful things there, the physicality and just mm. those scenes where they have to interact with the invisible man. How do you direct someone to fight with nothing? <laughs> like, how does that it's happen? Mostly if it's a fight scene, it becomes less about direction and it becomes very technical and very mechanical because we're using a motion control camera which is a robot, and the robot is programmed to go here and then go here. So it almost becomes like dance choreography, where it's like on one and two and three, and you know that the actor on three has to be right there at their mark. So for Elizabeth, it becomes a technical exercise of hitting marks, as opposed to if she is emoting in a scene, it's, it's the opposite of technical. It's all about what she's actually feeling. So those scenes you're describing, very mechanical, but hopefully the end product that you saw has an emotional weight to it, like it hits you, you know? And it definitely didn't. One last question. So 24 hours with the invisible suit. Where would you take it? What would you do with it? <laughs> wow. Uh, first, I'd mess with people. I have this really fiendish desire to scare people, so I'd do a little bit of that. And then I'd probably start trying to get behind closed doors. I'd want to be. I'd be. I'd want to be in that room at the White House. I'd want to be in. Ooh. I'd want to be behind those doors, listening to conversations that we're not supposed to listen to. Find out what's really going on. That sounds good. <laughs> Elizabeth wants to follow around Meryl Streep for a day. That's what she would do. <laughs> follow Meryl Streep around. Yeah. Well, I don't think she's using her invisibility suit to its full capabilities. She needs to get more creative. <laughs> oh, Thanks. Thank you so Cheers. much. Thank you. Better shake your booties for black girl nerds.